paintings are pretty big and they're you know nearly as big as the wall behind me kind of thing they're, they're really big yeah um, and that that's part of a show that just opened there last week in um, the doorway on South Frederick Street so that's going on until the end of this month um, and there's I don't know 25 paintings in that show it's a big show How long did it take you to do all that? Well I was just looking back um, I was painting them in the snow which was we had a little bit of snow in February do you remember? Yeah Yeah and uh, so it's it's since really since after Christmas And uh, is this full time job for you? Yep Yep So you get up in the morning and say I'm painting today <laughs> <laughs> Yeah <laughs> have you got a studio where you live? I have a studio kitchen. So my, I have a very big kitchen that's very bright and about a third of it is my studio. So it works really, really well for me. And yeah, this is this is my job. I My, my mum is an artist. She's from Bray. Um, and she worked with Jan Renard Goulet, who was kind of well known around the town for many years. And my mum was a teacher. Her name is Patricia Hearn O'Farrell. She'd be known well by lots of Bray people. And um, so I kind of didn't lick it off the stones, you know, but uh, I kind of sucked it all in from a very right. younger age. So you uh, paint, you, you put them all on exhibition and you hope that you sell them. Yes, that the whole that's thing. the plan. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> and thankfully, touch wood, um, it's been going really, really well. Um, so this is my third solo exhibition in Dublin. And um, I have galleries up and down the country and in the UK. So it's it's going really, really well. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> and you're modest to go with. <laughs> no, that's a joke. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we, we leave all that sort of stuff outside. Excellent. Yeah. So the Doorway Gallery, South Frederick Street, anyway, where all these are hanging... And this is a small um, comparison to a lot of the big ones. Yeah, and, though and they're all sizes, really. Yeah, that would be yeah. eighteen inches by. The actual 18. painting is twenty centimeter in new is money, it? which is about right. uh, what is that? It's about uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. But the frame <laughs> part of it, just to <laughs> yeah, take up the framed, wall. Yeah, yeah. So very good. And I noticed that even though the cups themselves look as if they're not fully defined, the lines are very straight. Um, do you understand what I mean? That the the cups themselves maintain their integrity of being, you know, straight lines at the top, and the handles are uh, yeah, defined. The cups themselves but are properly if, painted. <laughs> but if you look at them, if you look at it, you could get the impression that they are actually seen through a panel, a, a, a window that has water on it, so they're not exactly fully defined. Do you yes, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That that's to that's do an with, effect, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, it is. It's 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 painterly, I guess. It's 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 technique, it's, you know, um, and it's playing with the with the paint as well, you know. Right. You were saying you do, um, you, you paint. Uh, Old things, heritage things and all that. What other series have well, you had? Well, a couple of series. The Welly Boots, I'm still doing Welly Boots because they, they are very familiar and they're about home, uh, which seems to be a recurring theme for me. But I also paint interiors. So by that, I mean uh, drawing rooms and sitting rooms and and you know, kitchens, um, very often old spaces. Um, in fact, uh, that c- got kicked off really by a visit to Kilrodery and they were really, really nice to me and they let me in. And uh, just looking at, you know, big chunky old skirting boards that are well worn yeah. and old chairs that have an old story um, and seem like characters themselves. So um, what's your fascination with these? I think uh, texture and colour and light are the big things for me. But in terms of what I paint, a lot of it is to do with, with home. It's kind of that story they're implying the families that, that, that are not in the painting but are kind of around it, you know, that maybe just off to one side or outside or to return. And in the case of the old things, that's going back generations, you know. I uh, did a whole series of, of chairs against a wall, very simple with, with, with colourful um, shadows and and lots of texture. And it was that sort of sense that, you know, they could be wallflowers, they could be talking about the people or, you know, old kitchen parties, you know, where everybody gets it. You so don't give them all a personality. Yeah, <laughs> lots of character. So. They all have a chat, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I love um, I love what you've done with that. Um, I'd love to see what you do things like phone boxes or something like that from years ago. Pillar boxes. The older the old, old water pumps out of, you know, yeah. capturing the, the past in, in the, the style that you do it. So how long have you been doing this? I mean, it I've must been be a while. painting yeah. full time for about five years. Um, but I've been painting all my life, really. <clears throat> um you know, before that, it's just that it's become a career uh, since that. And and I started off um, my my old boss, who my my the company that I worked for were here in Bray, and they very kindly made me redundant about five years ago. Did they? <laughs> oh right, okay. And I was really starting to paint more seriously at that point. So it was an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, and I, and you know, I you know, mortgage to pay, kids to feed. You know, it wasn't a case where I could sort of say oh, I'm going to go off and have the life of an artist. Yeah. And they just gave me the kick I needed, you know. So uh, it's it, worked that's out where it started and then um, a gallery in Killarney uh, basically discovered me. Uh, he, he, he talked to me first and uh, has been a really great influence and uh, in fact I'll be down there in October doing a sort of extended artist talk and dem- demonstration in the Ahado Heights, that's in the, on the 12th and 13th yeah. uh, with them uh, going back down there. So that'd be a, a great haunt. Uh, that's the Killarney Art Gallery. Well, the current exhibition is called Teacup Scandal. Yes. Yes, okay. Um, pictures of teacups, but they could be talking about. Yes, I, I think there's whose a lot lips of lips they were. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, there seem to be a lot of muttering going on behind those teacups, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, Excellent. And then uh, the other thing I kind of wanted to mention, I know you know all about Culture Night because that's a big yeah. thing in, in the arts calendar and here in Bray, Signal and the Mermaid will be really involved with a great programme and in Dublin too. So the gallery that I'm involved with in, in Dublin who represent me in Dublin are the Doorway Gallery and they have have fantastic programme in South Frederick Street. They'll basically be closing off the whole street and there'll be live music and there'll be um, there'll be uh, Dr. Sketchy will be there with, with uh, models who'll be, you can go along and sketch them and life draw and, and you know in a very relaxed kind of fun kind of way but they're turning the whole gallery into an edible art gallery. They're sponsored by Goodalls and uh, it's going to be amazing. You can actually go in and eat the art <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, it, it's it's going to be um, uh, really good, and I'll be in there myself on the night. That's the twentieth of September. Uh, you know, for a couple of hours painting live. So if anybody wants to come in and have a chat, uh, I'll be there. <laughs> Great to meet you, Roisin. Uh Well done. Teacup scandal is currently being shown at the Doorway Gallery, South Frederick Street in Dublin Two. And if you don't know where that is, it's sort of off Nassau Street. It there. is knobs and knockers just up there. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Okay, uh, near the Pink Elephant and all that. Uh, okay, Teacup Scandal, Roisin O'Farrell. The best of luck with it. Thank you very much. Good, good to meet you.